Let's remake Goldwing by Billie Eilish in one hour. This track is particularly unique as Billie and Phineas have recorded choral vocals and then sampled them, creating atmosphere in the high tempo second half of the song. So in this video, I'll show you how to record choral vocals, how to sample those vocals and how to produce those high energy drums. And if that wasn't enough, we'll try and sing the lead vocals live. So let's see how that goes. I'm really looking forward to making more tracks on Billie's new album. So subscribe and hit the bell to see those as well. And as always, you can download the final project for free down below. Stopwatch. 3, 2, 1, go. Let's find the key and the chords. It's in between D minor and E flat minor. Let's choose D minor. D minor, C to the B flat, da da G minor, and second time to G major. <laughs> Very nice. The main section stays on D going angel, B flat, da da G minor, da 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 D E minor. <laughs> we'll write that in. And now BPM. Let's click along to the track. To highest <laughs> Around 77 feels a bit free rhythm as well. Da -da -dum -dum. Da -da -dum -dum -dum. <laughs> Main section BPM 160 Super That took 8 minutes and 12 seconds That's the most difficult start we've ever had <laughs> New software instrument Great Native instruments Battery 4 Count kick is lovely Ooh. We might need a second kick Ooh. Let's go with this big 808 <laughs> Let's make sure it's tuned to D So I'll pitch it up an octave Minus 2 semitones And minus 3 for the count The 808 kick happens on the 1 2 3 Four. Cue to quantize. Make sure they're hitting on the downbeats. Turn down the velocity a little bit. And then the count kick is going to be on the ba 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 ba. <laughs> Something like that. Fixed velocity. Select and operate. Woohoo! Kicks after 11 minutes, 16 seconds. We do love kicks. Command or to duplicate across. And then command D the track. Let's find some percussion hits. Percussion. Let's find a hi hat. Not too bad. S and S M D hi hat. That happens on the one and a two and a three and a four and a. <laughs> Q to quantize because of the latency. Let's make the first hit have a lower velocity. So it's a ba ba. Nice. Really add in that syncopation. Accent off the beat. Option and click to copy those across. Let's use this N D F A two and that happens on the cha 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 cha. <laughs> so hard. <laughs> so cool. We're going to command D, make another track. We're going to need some clap layers. We'll have those claps on the two and then snares on the four. <laughs> nice. That was hard. I will need flams on those. Humanize? Amazing. Command or those across. This is coming together quite fast. <laughs> and that's drums finished after 21 minutes, 31 seconds. I'm really happy with that. <laughs> we do love drums. Hold down option, click and drag all the drums to the verse. And we have a beat rest before the chorus. But the kick does hit on that fourth beat. Let's use the sub bass preset in our ES1 synth. In the verse, the bass goes like D, 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 D. In chorus, B flat, B, A, G, 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 B, A, F, D. Da 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 B flat B A G G G B A D D D C D C D C D C. <laughs> that was hard to say and play at the same time, but you can see it there. Such a cool line. Q to quantize functions MIDI transform fixed velocity. All right, that sounds pretty cool. And at the end, the do 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 do. Really nice. Let's give that a bit more crunch. Sound toys decapitator. Might check data life sausage fattener as well. See how that sounds. Mute the decapitator. Ooh, that sausage fattener actually gives it quite a nice <laughs> thickness, I suppose. To open up the colors, it's option C. Gotta give it a color. Red. Let's make the drums yellow. So base after 27 minutes, seven seconds. Not too bad. I'm feeling good about this. For the intro, I already have the soprano, alto, tenor, and bass lines mapped out on piano because there's no way I'd be able to figure out these notes in an hour. So I had to do a bit of homework. I hope you'll let me have that pass. Sorry. <laughs> it's too hard. Love Nailed it. <laughs> It'll do the trick. Tenor next. On the that line's much harder. Same again, pitch correct. Turn on flex pitch. Give them a little tune. Bringing the pitch correction to 100. And to make it sound really nice straight away, our long and short reverb. And there's so much reverb in this section, so blast it. Make everything sound lovely. Mute those. Alto next. On the weekend. Tune that vocal as well. Thought it was okay. <laughs> and soprano. This one is worryingly high. So I'm going to sing it down an octave and hope it sounds okay. With your <laughs> Tune this one as well. In order to thicken out this sound, we should double or triple track each of these vocals. So let's sing in quick doubles. With your
panning SATB, soprano, alto, tenor, bass, usually we have soprano, alto, bass, tenor. So let's pan them as we would see them on stage. So pan them for the audience. With yearning heart. Woo! <laughs> let's add a bit of stereo thickness to that as well. <laughs> that was so cool. Billy and Phineas back at it again. 45 minutes, 42 seconds. <laughs> Even though I had the notes, that took so long. Let's keep moving. Sounds great though. I love it. Now the really cool thing is they sample these vocals throughout the rest of the song. So let's grab them all. Control B opens up our bounce. Now we have all those vocals as one audio track. Software instrument, great. Let's use a quick sampler. Load in this audio file. Hit slice. Calling. All right. <laughs> the quick sampler is super for getting quick samples. <laughs> <laughs> Quick chop vocals. It's so good. So for the chorus, we'll need And the thing that makes this really cool is the panning. If we go sound toys, pan man. We'll start off going rhythm shape half note duplicate the quick sampler copy it across so each second bar we have the wing on the four one two three four We'll group that by going shift command G and call it Goldwing. Take out some low mids because we can't get it in the way of the vocal We'll add the short and long reverb to the group track <laughs> it definitely sounds a bit different because I don't have the high octave. Gold wing. I can't sing it that high, <laughs> sadly. 55 minutes, 20 seconds. <laughs> that took so long. Oh, that was tricky and it's not even perfect yet. Mixing stage, that's where we salvage everything. We need one more sampler without the pan man that goes through the verse. Nice. Four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. <laughs> I'll take the best ones. Quantize, functions, MIDI transform, fix, velocity, and select and operate. And the same with fixed note length. 59 minutes, 20 seconds. Let's just sing the ad lib really quickly. Cool, I hope. Bit of improv there, but we'll make it work. So let's tune it to make it work. <laughs> And that's time! Ba -da, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. Boom! Oh, this track is so cool. One of my favorites off the album, without a doubt. The choral arrangement at the start, and then sampling that choral arrangement throughout the rest of the track. So simple, but so genius. I love it. Once again, with Phineas's production, there are a few sounds, but every sound is perfection. It's <laughs> so good. A huge shout out to my patrons over on Patreon. And if you'd like to get feedback on your tracks or hear some of my upcoming tracks, maybe it's worth checking it out as well. <laughs> I'll leave the link down below. All right, will we sing the lead vocal live? I are to be rude not to. Here we go! Woo! With your heart, on the O gold winged messenger of mighty God, they gonna tell. That vocal's hard. <laughs> and if you'd like to learn how to remake Happier Than Ever, I've all the information right here. Go on, click it. It'd be rude not to. Ooh. <laughs>